Once again, welcome back to KCS Classes. KCS Classes in a video. This is Kiran CS. Calgary University, 5th semester BCom. 8th important title problem paper. Management accounting discussion continues. So, last video we will start with the chapter Ratio Analysis. So, Ratio Analysis is first liquidity ratios. Finish it. Liquidity ratios are rent ratio. Number one, current ratio. Number two, quick ratio. This is related to the problems. So, next ratio is the strategy. Leverage ratios or solvency ratios are next. So, in the case of liquidity ratios, we have to look at the liquidity ratios. We have to look at the purpose. Ability to fulfill its short-term obligation. One is the current liability. Short-term obligations. Short-term obligations. Meet the current capacity. What we need to find out is the liquidity ratios. One is the short-term solvency. Short-term liabilities. Meet the current capacity. Liquidity ratios apply here. On the other hand, long term solvency, ability to pay long term debt. Organization long term debt meet the capacity in the ILEO. In the other hand, we work out the ratios are leverage ratios or solvency ratios. Liquidity ratios. Solvency ratios and leverage ratios are the difference. Solvency ratio is one of the long-term solvency. Ability to meet its long-term liability, long-term debt. Okay? So, the debt equity ratio is debt equity ratio. From the word itself, we can see the debt equity ratio easily. The debt equity ratio is the relationship between debt and equity. So, long term debt divided by equity is the debt equity ratio equation. So, long term debt means more than one year in nature, we have a long term debt. It includes mainly debunchers. Plus mortgages plus all long term loans. अपने जाना है हमके long term debt type है हाँ साधारण ना हमने देखा ना then equity means what shareholders fund so equity और shareholders fund है इन्होंवर ना अलग ले equity and preference share capital है last share capital ना हमने कहाँ से लिया हम plus all resources and surplus इतने आना हम के equity ले consider चाहिए ना ई रंटन ना तिन्हीं relationship आना हम के debt equity ratio नो वाले ने मनस लगाने लाय, so जाने हम के आठ दिन तर ratio पढ़ गया ना लाय, so अंगने आने के दिनर related इधर लारे problem तलो डू बुआ, so moving to problem, कुछ ने दाना, कुछ नो की ओरो, from the following information calculate debt equity ratio, कुछ ने लाना हम के twenty thousand equity shares of rupees ten inch fully paid 2 lakh rupees equity share capital and preference share capital 10,009 percentage preference share is 10 each which is 1 lakh rupees preference share capital and general reserve P and tell debunchers and preliminary expenses and then we will identify the long term debt in the mode identify the equity we will consider the equity in the question we will consider the question we will consider the question so, equity, shareholders fund ले preliminary expenses adjust जीदट balance amount ए नमले consider जी आपड लो अपए इत्र कारिंगल आना नमके नोका नले so, नमले equation दाना debt equity ratio कांड विडिया अला थे long term debt divided by equity so, इए problem तिले long term debt नुवर एंबो debunchers मात्रा नले so, नमका आधी में जीव जियाम long term long term debt is equal to डिबेंजेस में आता है ना लाय सो इन्हें माउंटेन वाले ना तो वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड आना सो वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड आना लॉन्ग टाइम डेट है और टाइटल लोग ने आने ऐसे इन्हें माउंटेन दी नेक्स्ट ना मुख्य इन्हें इन्हें आना इक्विटी आना अलग है शेयरहोल्डर्स फंड आना सो इक्विटी इज़ इक्वल 
So 2 lakh equity share capital is the same plus preference share capital is the same 1 lakh rupees. So 1 lakh preference share capital is the same. Next general reserve 90,000 and plus 90,000 general reserve to plus P and L 60,000 balance and profit plus 60,000 to do any number of preliminary expenses and adjust the amount. So the amount of 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 the amount is equal to 4 lakh 50,000 rupees. Then 4 lakh 50,000 in the end of the month minus minus preliminary expenses. Preliminary expenses in the amount of the preliminary expenses in the amount of the 20,000. So 20,000 minus chimbo balance in the 4 lakh 30,000 in the amount of the equity I to consider the amount of the So in the end of the month we will go to the equation. Long term debt is 1,50,000. So, 1,50,000 divided by 4,30,000 divided by equity amount is 4,30,000 rupees. So, is equal to 0.5 rupees. So, is equal to 0.35 rupees. So, is equal to 1,50,000 debt equity ratio. So, that is easily to find out the ratio. Ratio on a solvent ceiling number one debt equity ratio. Clarity in the original. If you know whatever issues such as the one is here, administration full problem. Simple number of the very particular a lot of issues and pet on the better than care or maybe we're now. So in the next solvency ratio, I did not know the proprietary ratio. So in the proprietary ratio, no matter there relating to the problem. So in the next one, okay. So, नम्बर नेक्स्ट रेशियो नमक दो कहने लगा ना प्रोप्राइटरी रेशियो। So प्रोप्राइटरी रेशियो इस आल्सो नॉन एस इक्विटी रेशियो और नेटवर्थ रेशियो। मैं मून पे इगले दारे पढ़ने दे। नंबर वन नमक का प्रोप्राइटरी रेशियो, दें इक्विटी और नेटवर्थ रेशियो। So इन इक्वेशन और इन द शेयरहोल्डर्स फंड डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल परसेंटेज लोग नमक एक्सप्रेस यंत्र दिए, सो इधर ना पर्पस है ना वाला इन्हें दर टोटल एसेट्स से ले इतना तो वालों प्रोप्राइटर्स ने कंट्रीब्यूटी चीज़ यंत्र दिए जरूर अगर कंट्रीब्यूटी क्या होने डाला ना हमारा प्रोप्राइटरी रेशियो आ वर्कआउट चीज़ इन्हें दर दाना टोटल एसेट्स से ले उस so, shareholders fund, we can calculate the equity plus preference share capital plus all reserves and surplus then total assets no rainbow, all assets in the total. Okay, so we can relate it to the problem. Question is, from the following information, calculate proprietary ratio. Question is, equity share capital and preference and general reserve and P and L and debtors Creditors, current asset, fixed asset, investment. We have to find the proprietary ratio. So, first of all, we require shareholders 1. So, shareholders 1 did that total. So, okay. Shareholders fund. Shareholders fund. So, we have to find the share capital details. Equity share capital. Equity share capital. Amount to it is equal to 2 lakh rupees on equity share capital. Then next preference share capital. Preference share capital. Amount to it is 1 lakh 20,000 rupees on. 1 lakh 20,000. Next general reserve. General reserve. Amount to 60,000 rupees on general reserve. After that P and L and amount to 40,000 रुपीस अब इतने डिटेल्स आने में हमको शेयरहोल्डर्स फंड इन डे अमाउंट इन्वेंट इन्वेंट वेरी द सो लाउड डी टोटल सी बस शेयरहोल्डर्स फंड डे 4 लाख 20,000 रुपीस आने वेरी द सो हम लोग आदित्य इटम किडी नेक्स्ट ना हमको वेंट इन्वेंट इन्वेंट टोटल एसेट्स आन टोटल एसेट्स सो टोटल एसेट्स Assets is equal to amount 
current assets 1,50,000 rupees and current assets are in the then next fixed assets in the investment in there so next fixed assets fixed assets amount where is the fixed assets in there 4 lakh rupees and 4 lakh rupees next investments investments with three items on the uh, total assets will consider the other one lakh sixty thousand rupees so the moon would add the total assets i am on to another seven lakh rupees on so the grand i to know the good day up in the equation load of one shareholders one to know in the four lakh twenty thousand divided by total assets a seven lakh rupees so namukka is equal to ethra kittum 4 lakh 20 divided by 7 lakh kittunada 0 0.6 is to 1 aan reach vera then namukku idine percentage lotu maatanam engil endu idha mudi into 100 idha mudi that means namukku engane kudin parayam 60 percentage aan namude proprietary ratio nu result kodukan sadhi okay so idana solvency ratio le leverage ratio le rendamatha ratio namukku padikkanalla proprietary ratio clarity it in you know so e rendu ratios aanu nammal inna video il include idalla so additional ratios um korchu kodi lengthy aitla problems so aite mattu video il veendum kaanam nalla pradeekshayode nirthunu this is kiran cs signing off have a nice day thank you